Hey people, how's it going? I want to talk about today one Aventus clone, which is very um, not available in every single country, I believe. Uh, it's a fragrance. It's I'm not quite also sure if it's a niche or designer fragrance. So I have for you today here is uh, Insurrection Pure by Rayan Tradition. It's a 90 ml EDT concentration. All right. Um, it's from France, and uh, I will talk about it. You know, it's like a I'm not quite sure it's EDT, yeah, I was just checking on it. So thing is, it's gonna be an initial impression, uh, sort of like a first review. I'll review this again somewhere in the winter time because I believe this is a winter time baby. And the thing is, this bottle is courtesy of one of our brothers in the community in Bangladesh. His name is Arifur Rahman Bhai. Uh, Arifur Rahman Bhai means brother. So he's my elder uh, statesman here. Very nice guy, just happened to meet him today and he was kind enough to bring this bottle for me. So thanks very much brother for this bottle courtesy. And I wanna talk about it. Um, and uh, yep, I'll try to do justice. Okay, so far what I've got, I'll tell you price, presentation, and I'll compare this against the mighty King Aventus, all right, and as well as the other clones. So if I do take a little bit of time, I apologize right in the beginning, but yeah, I do detailed reviews for a reason that I know many people don't appreciate uh, long reviews because they don't have the time, basically, honestly speaking. I understand that to go through the whole story, but usually I do it for future. Uh, reference for people what I get from it my story or experience so they have benefited that's all all right so yeah thanks brother for Ramon Bhai once again very nice meeting you I would hang out hang out with you much more <laughs> all right so I have my notes here let me uh, tell you the notes then I'll sh tell you I'll show you the presentation I'll tell you how it smells all right so far uh, from Fragrantica what I obtained is it's a uh, Insurrection Pure 2 from the House of Rare and Tradition. I hope I say that correctly. And it's a 2013 release. And there's no perfume I mentioned. Uh, whoever created this, it's, I think it's just the house. And the price range, I think in Amazon, it's not very expensive. It's a not very expensive fragrance. But it's not super uber cheap also. It's somewhere in the $30 zone if you got, get it from Bangladesh. So if you're in Bangladesh and you're trying to get this bottle, uh, one of our group members, brother Ifran, Ifran Bhai, uh, he is uh, bringing this bottle from UK all the way. Uh, it will cost you somewhere $30 or less, a little bit less than $30. So you can order it through him. Okay. So the price, it's a 90 ml juice, by the way. It's not 100 ml, which I really hate. I hate this thing, one concept of the companies, but it's okay. Then the top notes consist of cassis, bergamot, apple, pineapple. This is from Fragrantica. Mead is birch, jasmine, and patchouli. And the base or the last stage it will be oak moss musk amber and vanilla okay so uh, that's what basically is the fragrantica and then you can read the notes on this and see, see the comments of other people there many many uh good noses and many reviewers also reviewed this fragrance so without further ado let me show you the presentation it's amazing looking box it's so robust it's it's not your cardboard it's a very solid it's a box okay you can hear it all right and the thing is it gives you the feel almost of amouage sort of a presentation so that's why i feel it's maybe niche so do correct me if i'm wrong and then it comes with a band here so you can pull this off the bottle sometimes is not secure so i'll hold the bottle here and look at the beautiful gorgeous bottle okay i'll take this out all the information on the bag you can read made in france and all the other notes they all provided it says interaction pure it looks like a book almost two below is their logo up top logo very solid very solid stuff Okay, and the thing is, it comes in like this. If you hold it, it will come with the band. I don't know where to tie the band, but it's uh, sort of like their logo, it seems. And this is very nice to pull it off. So the bottle is very nice, snug fit. It's like slipping down there like a vampire. <laughs> Even though I feel like this is more like a reminds me of another bottle presentation. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time. L reminds me of this Silver Mountain Water. The bottle is then solely. It looks like a Alps up there in the mountains, surrounded by clouds, white very nice and clean that sort of bottle okay one of my favorite bottle designs this one is no less pretty okay there goes the box look at this i know many of you have seen this but those who haven't seen it i'm doing it for you it has very nice white opening and then bottom it's a bit cloudy and it looks like mist it's very misty mystifying you know it looks like just rained on the top of the mountain and it's like a little bit you know what do you call them clouds left and it's a bit curvy at this area it looks like a building almost like a las vegas casino very heavy bottle at bottom you can see the glass area is a lot here it says insertion pure 2 
here too. Very beautiful cap. It's a beautiful attention to details. Very nice. It's a very nice feel in the hand. And it's even though it's opaque almost, but you can see through the juice if you put it against the light, it will move inside. So the cap, it says Perry, Perry's here. And it says for men. Okay. I don't have the best camera ever. And uh, it's like uh, the, the attention to details is amazing. Snug fit, very heavy cap, metal. Okay. So taking it out. And uh, sprayer looks like this. It has white inside. So if you're scared of fakes. So I love this bottle design. Bottom is your sticker and batch code. So let's show you the sprayer and I'll talk about it. I have the dry down here, but let's spray it here. Okay. Two sprays. Let that settle down a little bit. I'll tell you what it smells like. I also have the dry down in the paper. I just reviewed it in our group. Ah, yes. So does it smell like the most important part? Does it smell like Aventus? How close it is? I know you guys want to know. The opening is not Aventus. The opening is something else. The opening is something like a... <clears throat> it has the... It has cassis, the fruit. When you spray it up top, I, I said it, you know, it feels, gives you the feeling of sort of like this one Aventus clone in my group, I said it, is this. I don't know if I could be wrong. Trayvon, which when initially it came out, people said this is a clone of Aventus. A of people uh, sort of emphasize this is like a clone of Aventus, but it's not. This smells entirely different. It's much more fruitier. If you imagine, like this could be a little bit of Aventus and a lot of like greenish tweed. So this is like a little bit fruitier version, much more fruitier and amped up version of Crane Wing, which is a greenish tweed clone. So why am I talking about this? Because I believe uh, the Crete Aventus, the Crete house, every single fragrance is somewhat connected to each other on the dry down of that signature ambergris. It could be the birch, it could be a lot of this uh, fruity notes. So the thing is, the ingredients is sort of like, one reminds you of the other. Silver Mountain Water reminds you of Himalaya, Green Irish Tweed, the green side. Okay, so I'll take them out. So, yep. Uh, uh, the thing is, why am I talking about those? The opening reminds me of that, sort of like the fruitier version of the Trayvon. Trayvon, it reminds me of that, but much lighter. So this fragrance is very light in nature. It has a very nice, uh, sort of juicy, uh, pineapple-y, bergamot and bit of apple if you sniff it if you imagine you can smell a lot of mix of fruits which is what i like it's very clean it's very clean opening with a touch of herbal like uh, imagine you're making those juice the beautiful pineapple juice but you just put like just two leaves of uh, coriander just dip it in there so you'll get that slight feel of the green herbal sense that's what the opening very cooling fruity uh handsome you get a little bit of five seconds to ten seconds bit of alcohol blast but it's not as bad as those other clones yes i have them here with me the very popular club de new intense men then i have lavender also happen to have popster aqua and i tried zara's vibrant leather the thing is all of them are good let's just get out of the way all the clones are very very good and for the price they offer they are sort, sort of like within the 30 dollars budget right they're all good but compared to the other ones where does it stand? I think this is not a loud projector, a loud fragrance, but it has good lasting power on it. I would say more 7.5 out of 10, that sort of. And it won't be very uh, loud or uh, synthetic or nose burning sort of like opening you get for Club Dream Intense Man, which many people cannot stand. It's somewhere hanging between Lavender and then the dry down will go towards Aventus. That's where you get that feel. But it's a greener, fruitier, lighter Aventus. So let's just put it there. That's what I got from it so far. After half an hour, 45 minutes of wearing, it starts smelling like Aventus. Very uh, smoky, but toned down Aventus. Okay, it's like half of Aventus. I'll just say it out there. When I sniff Aventus, let's see. Side by side, be fair. Huge sprayers, huge sprayers. Creed, Creed. <laughs> oh yeah. When you put them side by side, I'll do a comparison as well here, head on, because I don't want to do too many videos. So when I smell them side by side, I have a, let's switch the hands, let's not rush, Aventus, okay, pineapple juice, there's a dry down, that's what I spread just now, okay, on up top, they don't smell similar that much, this smells more towards green ice tweed, um, sort of train we, tray bone, that sort of fruity cassis, that's the fruit, I never tried cassis I think, but it's sort of that very strong, that 
berry like feel you know it's like a berry sort of fruit like sort of like a black currant but i'm not sure it's black currant or not so some sort of fruit with the green opening and then center it will go somewhere on the aventus side it'll have the green side oak moss i don't think i don't get and uh it will go somewhere like mossy that sort of open uh fragrance very like sophisticated okay i'm not gonna put this against aventus because you cannot compare uh 30 dollar against 30 dollar fragrance against 250 dollars if you're expecting the same outcome it's not possible guys all right but for what you pay look at the good size of this okay upsides the presentation with the box and the bottle look at this detailing guys okay you shouldn't even complain just for this bottle i would love to pay 30 dollars first thing second thing is this juice smells really good it smells much more on top this popster i love it a lot i'll admit it but many people found it i tried it on a couple of people they said this Alharma Eleven Chair and Club New Intense Men, the opening is much more harsher than this. This is much more toned down, sophisticated, and up class. So, yes, 90 mil, I forgive you for that. <laughs> One fault I don't like about it. If it was 100 mil, it would be perfect. Lasting power is moderate to good. 7 to 7.5 for both. Let's say 7. I'm not going to give unfair uh, marks in the heat. It doesn't work that much. So, if you're staying inside, air conditioned zone or cooler zone, it will last you half day, at least five to six hours on your shirt. How many sprays? I would say go on your neck, which where your blood is pumping a lot. It's It will project nicely, but not far away, okay? On your shirt, it will be very nice. People pass you by, they'll get waft of your fragrance, but compared to the power and projection, the rest of them, they beat this to me for my initial impression. Like longevity on good, good on this, okay? But projection is a little bit down. This stuff projects very nicely and very feels more prominent. But why would you get it for the blend? This is much better, much smoother, uh, much more uh, up class if you compare all with all the other clones. And it has the feel of that fruity uh, train wee. So you get sort of like a two fragrance in one. You get sort of a, like a Aventus on the dry down and opening first 40 minutes, you get greenish to it with that uh, cassis, you know, cassis or um maybe it's a plum not plum sorry black currant that's so fruity so if you like fruity fragrance it's very fruity fresh clean uh sober and it's not uh, offensive at all great fragrance for office gym casual if you're going for weddings and if you want to wear something white shirt it will perfectly complement that it will look great in your uh, i'd say your shelf very nicely you can display this and it's very uncommon not everyone has it so all those good things all right Bad things is I wish the performance, like I like a little bit more. You know, that's my type. Not everybody is the same, right? I like a little bit more. I can detect my fragrance after some time. So after two hours, it comes very close to the skin. Two, two hours, projection is good. Dry down is very nice. It's, it literally feels like a pineapple juice with a little bit citrus. And then that, 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 the green touch of it, the coriander always stay inside. So if you try it first, then buy, don't blind buy it. Maybe if you're looking for a performer, all of the, any, you cannot go wrong with any of the clones. They're all damn good. So thing is, you have to show respect, right? Yeah. So far, if you look for the fruitiest, sort of uh, most fun Aventus clone, I go for this. This always cheers me up, you know? It's just damn good. Yeah, it has a little bit alcohol blast up top, but the dry down is damn nice. It's very fruity, a lot of like tequila sort of feel. I like that. But overall remark, smell, very good, 8.5. Longevity and projection, I'll give 7 out of 10 so far. And uh, uniqueness, of course. Aventus clone, when you talk about Aventus. <sighs> okay. When you compare the clones against the real stuff, then you start to see with time, you start noticing the difference. But, you know, it depends on people. You don't have to have this. I'm telling you once again, you don't have to have this. But if you love this and you're looking, trying to get the feel of it, and if you can afford it, go for it. No matter what batch, whatever, forget about the batch talk. Aventus is always Aventus. I say that. And I'm not going to be like a douchebag, like promoting Creed whatsoever. If I don't like something, I won't say it's good. That's it. Because Creed is not giving me free bottles. I have to pay my money to get them. So Instruction Pure, is it a good fragrance? Definitely. And it's uncommon. It's not exactly like Aventus, but dry down. Yeah, it's like that. One of the better Aventus clones with a lot of good marks. I'll give this like 8 out of 10. Initial impression. It does deserve that mark. Okay. So Instruction Pure 2, good clone. Thumbs up, definitely look into it. Check this out, but don't blind buy. Take care, guys. Nice talking to you. I'll talk to you soon again. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye bye.